Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven, and this is Rhapsody. We are in the Temple of Gamma in search of the Earthstone to prove Michael really loves Caroline and maybe get a chance with her in the eyes of the Frog King. So let's not uh, keep standing here, let's look around because I'm pretty sure it's going to take us a while in order to find the exit of this place. Illustration number six. All right, let's see. Put the horns up. And let's use magic because this is an unfortunate, not an unfortunate, but a really not easy screen to find in. So we're ready to get it over with. They're all like multiple rooms attached to each other. Very confusing. Energy candy. But I just want to make sure. Yeah, I think this should be it. Alright, looks like this one is going to go down. This is better. This uh, we can deal with. A little bit too far. Let's uh, test this egg out. Are you finally strong enough to stand on your own two feet? <laughs> yes, you are. I'm wondering, should we call in one of the other Egg Brothers in order to start leveling that one up? We might as well, since Billy is starting to get to the point that he can take care of itself. So if we switch Billy off for Tal, leveling up to the same region, we can then use all three of them in the same party. Maybe we should give him... Uh, so I'm coming to and uh, let's check this out first. Agility plus 20, which is nice, but I was more looking into the hero charm, so that is defense. make him that fast just yet. He has to prove his worth first. It's gonna be like the same... Ooh, new puppet? Who's there? Who dares awaken me? Are you Mustaki's descendant? Yes, we are. Then die. Alright. Yeah, Tell is gonna stay a bit on the back end of it. Well, you're allowed to use magic. <laughs> Tell is now eight. Learned Plushat. Hmm, you are very strong for someone so young. Mustagi's blood, I see. You want me to join your party? Hell yeah. Your courage has renewed my faith in humans, but do not fail me. I shall join your party if you play your horn. Well, a puppet with a bazooka? There's no way I can say no to something like that. Many Coco. Let's check the lower corner here as well. Because I think this is the same formation we had before. 
Yeah, it is. For now? Elixir ball, perfect. Alright, I think my little dragon can do some damage. That is some significant damage. Well, we can heal it in between. It's no problem. Yes, he does have a bigger attack range. Ah, totally forgot about that. But this is going to be useful. That way we can easily test out the strength without having to get close to the enemies. Learned Omega, holy. Okay, sounds really interesting. The Centaur. Rawr. All right, we're gonna be fine. We just have to stay calm. You know what? Come to me first. A critical arrow attack on enemy. <laughs> Not the strongest attack, but at least he attacked. Mm, so we use magic then? I want to use magic too. I want to use our new one. I want to see how it looks like. Omega Holy. Very impressive. Only halfway there. Damn, he is really strong, isn't he? Not that it's gonna help him win. one of our stronger opponents so far. I wonder what he's gonna do if he actually hit us. Acquired the Earth Stone. Okay, so we could also just run right now because we have it. <laughs> Aww, Cornette gave the Earth Stone to Michael. Damn. <laughs> I think the game does this explicitly so I don't run from my duties and then try to rescue my own prince first before uh, helping uh, Caroline. Mm -hmm, you know what? We do have an item for this exact situation. Are you the famous Miss Cornette? I've heard all the stories of your heroic deeds. Alright, can we go to the princess's chamber? Or do we need to go directly to the king? We probably need to go directly to the king. I have returned, sir. So, did you bring the Earth Stone? Yes. My beloved, you kept your promise to come back to me. Oh, Caroline. You've done well. 
Your courage will be remembered by the people for years to come. As I promised, I'll approve your marriage with Caroline. Th thank you very much. However, you still have to pay for oh, you still have to pay for your crime of breaking into the castle. What? And you also killed Centaur, the guardian of the Frogbrook Kingdom. What? You must be punished for your crimes against the kingdom. Father, that's not what you promised. I've kept my promise. Forgive me. <gasps> what the hell? What a underhanded way of doing things. I'm seeing this kingdom in a whole different uh, view here. Because this is just terrible. What the? What have you done? You monster! Michael! Oh, my true love! I'll never forgive you! I have no father now. Oh, Caroline. They're taking the body away as well? Hmm, what a tragedy. It's hard to believe that the king would execute his daughter's true love. Cherish every moment you have with the ones you love. You never know what might happen. Here is the Earthstone. Well, at least we got what we needed, but... This is no way of leaving this country. Could we have saved the Guardian? Because, in all honesty, I never for one second thought the Centaur was the Guardian uh, of the Earthstone. Even though I should have known. But would there have been an option for us to just run and not attack it? And get the Earthstone that way? I don't think there would be any other conclusion to this, but I do wonder. Michael. Oh, poor Caroline. I would do anything to ensure Princess Caroline's happiness, but as soldiers, we must follow the king's orders regardless of how we feel. Our king has kept his promise, but I've given Michael's body to Princess Caroline. It's the least I could do. Oh, don't tell me his body is in her bedroom. I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh, poor Caroline. Princess Caroline is with Michael's body. Please, let her be. Why did this happen? You were there! Why didn't you do something about it? If the game gave me an option, I would have definitely done so. Oh, the king had no intention of forgiving Michael. Nope, he definitely did not. A very underhanded means of doing things. Oh, social rank is a definite factor in Farber Kingdom. A marriage between two people from two different classes was impossible. Oh, we're in trouble, aren't we? Port Gamma must be shocked. I feel sorry for him. The king returned to his room with sorrow in his face. The law is the law. A king must obey the laws which placed upon his own subjects. Cornette, you understand that, right? I understand it, but it doesn't mean I like it. I was rooting for uh, Michael and Caroline. Really, I do. Alright, let's see what Port Gamma has to say about this. Our king believes that justice must be served. It's not rare for him to order an execution to those who break the law. That's a pretty extreme way to uphold the law. If you break the law, you get killed. Oh, poor Princess Caroline. <laughs> poor Gamma is gone. Think, uh, I'm getting out of here. I do not want to get killed. Oh, he's here. 
Oh, I think this is uh, their minister. Our king is to be admired by his dedication to the law. I respect him for his decision. Of course you do. And why in games like uh, these when you have nobles that the minister is always dirty, corrupt, evil? I can't remember any game where this isn't the case to some regard. Yeah, power corrupts everyone. I'm pretty sure Port Gamma is back in his own house. Oh, why couldn't I make her love me? I was so blind. Is he now still engaged or is that off as well? Oh, Princess Caroline's missing. Princess Caroline went up north with Michael's body. I'm sure she was headed uh, towards the Ice Temple. We, the frog people, worship this goddess statue. Please break the statue if you like. Okay, so Caroline is now missing. Technically, we've got all the stones, so we should be able to get to Cape Hope in order to do something with all stones together. But a part of me also want to go after Caroline. Oh, stupid part, Gamma. How could he let Michael steal the princess away? <laughs> that, that is not uh, the point of this part of the story. <laughs> Alright, I think the Ice Temple will be here. Tower of Nine Tails, White Snow. Ice Temple, okay. So, what I want to do is... we already been through the Ice Temple before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little look around inside the entire area. And I want to see if we can find some sign that the princess is here with Michael's body. If not, I will be back here in a minute or two. Alright, I think I found a different area in the ice temple. This looks like a grave. Is this the grave of Michael? Here lies Michael and Caroline? Miss Cornette. You're Miss Cornette, right? I'm Caroline, the former princess of Frogbrook. Remember me? I just want to thank you for everything. I spoke with Michael and we decided that we wanted to start our lives over. We were being selfish before and we didn't think about the others. Because of our selfishness, we had made other people suffer. We would like to make up for what we did by joining your quest. With the hope of being reincarnated. Will you let us join your party? Yes. Thank you very much. I'm sure we will be of great use to you. Thank you. I would like to repay your kindness by joining you. Alright, so we get Michael and Caroline in our party. The only sad thing about this is that they had to die for it. The frogs have joined your party. Alright, here lie Michael and Caroline. Well, I'm sad that they died, but I'm happy they're in our party right now. Uh, let's see. Having said that, um... Is Albatross a unique character? Yeah. <laughs> Level 1 Michael. Could be interesting. Let's uh, switch up the order so that White Wind gets all below. <laughs> we only have like four spaces for random monsters. All the rest is filled up with uh, unique characters. Amazing. Alright, uh, having said that, let's use our teleporter to get out of here. Alright, so with uh, that being done, I think it's time for us to uh, head to Cape Hope and see what we can do with the five stones. And can we actually do something here with the five stones? Because I assumed from the beginning, but... Maybe there's another thing we need to do first? 
do we need to do it in a specific order, maybe? Do we need to interact with the item itself? Okay, not seeing anything yet. I know we have to be here, right? Because this is where we need to use the E-Stones, right? Hmm. Alright, there's only one other thing that comes to mind if you want to learn more about this. And that's by going to the Tower of Wisdom. <laughs> Maybe he knows uh, something we don't. And I guess I was right. Hmm, I was waiting for you, meow. Oh, thanks for collecting the stones now. I don't have to go look for them, meow. Meow, meow, Miss Meow's a genius. <laughs> meow, <laughs> who's the woman? Miss Meow is the best. Of course, meow. Miss Meow's is beautiful. Of course, meow. Miss Meow says selfish. Of course, Meow. <laughs> Miss Meow's immature. Of course. Hey, wait just a minute. Meow. Oh, sorry, Meow. Oh, yeah. Uh, should we be coming back at a better time, Connette? Oh, wait, Meow. Don't ignore me, Meow. Oh, what do you want? I told you what I need. Meow, hand over all your stones to over to Meow. <laughs> Why? Meow! Don't make me repeat myself. Meow. You're doing this on purpose right now. <laughs> yeah. Meow! I'm mad now. I ain't gonna forgive any of you. Meow. Watch out, Connette. I think she's getting mad or something. Of course, Kururu. I don't mind. Let's deal with this uh, nuisance once and for all. To the middle and use our best kind of magic, the Giga Tornado. We'll definitely get rid of the little cats. Alright, see if we can actually hit her or if it's impossible. It's impossible. Alright, so she's gonna beat us without us giving a chance to beat her and stealing our stones, isn't it? She's not that strong. Maybe it's just that she's very high evade rate? Maybe we need to escape with Cornette. <laughs> because if we can't hit her and she is not strong enough to defeat us, we need to do something. Because I don't have the time to wait until she finally is able to hit Cornette and defeat this. I reward her, maybe? A sugar a flan attack. Even that is a miss. Well, if we can't hit her, then it should be over after a few rounds, right? Because they can't make us fight this fight until she kills us, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, Cornette, Cornette! Which this is total crap, because we are far stronger than her. We would have easily defeated her in real life. Hmm, you're next, Meow. Be prepared, Meow. Ready, Meow? 
Oh, meow. What the? What just happened? Don't tell me Kururu is like a reincarnation of Cornette's mom. At least that's what I'm assuming here, cause if he turns into an angel, which she clearly is, the first thing I come to mind is her mom. L let's see what happens. What's this light, meow? Meow, it's so bright. Meow, retreat. What the? That face. I thought I recognized that face. I should check it out. Hmm, I, are you okay? Hmm? Where is... Where are they? Hmm, they yelled, it's time for lunch and uh, <laughs> went home. Huh? Lunch? Hmm, figures. Well, at least nobody got hurt and the stones are safe. Okay? Why didn't she tell her what actually happened? And the fact that A12 is here and saw it. Is she gonna tell uh, Cornette what actually happened? Oh, we might still get up to the top of the tower and see if the old man knows something that can help us. Does have to figure out where it is from here? This is the seventh floor. Alright, I will just uh, see you when I get into the room, because I just need to find where the door is. It was so easy. <laughs> it was just a symbol next to the one we uh, had. Oh, wonderful! You found all of the stones. <laughs> so we can undo the spell on the prince with this, right? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> it's just uh, that uh, alone is not enough to break the spell. Excuse me? Could you run that by me one more time? What, you didn't hear me the first time? Alright, I repeat again, so listen carefully, okay? That alone is not enough to break the spell. Got it? <laughs> I heard you the first time, I just didn't know what you mean. What? Then why did we have to go through all the trouble of finding these stones? Oh, get a rope. Oh, no, 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 oh, hold on, hold on, let me finish. Marjorie and her underlings are in a floating castle called the Beauty Castle. When you place the stones on the altar, you'll be able to enter that castle. Ah, oh, jeez, why didn't you just say so? You got us all worked up for nothing. Well, uh, maybe if you listened once in a while, you would have heard me. Anyway, in order to undo the spell on the prince, you'll need true love. True love? Yes, the spell can only be broken by one who truly loves him. By one who truly loves him? And how do you suppose I go about doing this? Should I just go up to him and say, I love him or...? Oh, much simpler than that. All you need is a kiss. Yes. I could have written the script myself. Yes, a kiss indeed. Something that you young people do on a daily basis. A, a kiss? But I couldn't possibly. We haven't even been on a date yet. Heck, we haven't even talked for more than five minutes. <laughs> Cornet and Ferdinand sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Ah, I think you're qualified. You wouldn't be here if you didn't love him. It's just a kiss. It's not like you have to marry him right there and then. <laughs> and then he'll have to take care of you. You can't get something for nothing. <laughs> Alright, now that we know how to undo the spell, let's go to Cape Hope. Kururu? Kururu, what's wrong with her? Kururu! 
Hey, hey, calm down. Hmm, she has a fever. She must have overexerted herself. Have you noticed anything odd about Kororu? Hmm, not that I know of. Hmm. Hmm, I did. At the entrance of the tower, bright light wings like an angel. Ah, I see. Is that so? I didn't know she could exist like this. What, what, what are we supposed that to mean? Is Kuru going to be alright? Hmm, so Kururu turned into an angel earlier, right? Hmm, yes, so? Connect A12. Journey into Kururu's dream and see for yourselves. <coughs> hmm, Huna, hmm, Huna, hmm. Aha. It will? Hmm. Are you her friend? Uh, yes, I guess. Hmm. Oh, Cornet. Yes. <laughs> How do you know my name? Hmm. This puppet is called Kuroru. Isn't it cute? Huh? Your name is Cornette too? What a coincidence. Her name is Cornette as well. Then this must be... <laughs> yes, this must be... Mm, you must be tired. Please, stay here and get some rest. That's her mom, isn't it? Cornette, why don't we go downstairs? Why? Cornette wants to talk with big sisters <laughs> some more. Not tonight, Grenade. They're tired. There's always tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm, why are you crying, Grenade? I I'm not crying. Just... Hmm, just what? Even though this is a dream, I'm glad I was able to meet her like this. Hmm, what did I do to deserve this? That's what happens when you get involved. Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, so we're in the dream of uh, Kururu. And we're seeing Cornette as a child and her mom. I can already uh, guess where this is going to. But, alas, we are at the end of today's episode. So, next time... We're going to explore this dream a little bit more and I'm thinking maybe I'm right that that angel form of Kururu is somehow connected to Cornette's mom. In what way? We'll just have to see next time. But until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and be back next time as we go deeper into this dream. <laughs> see you then. Bye bye.